Hello there, YouTubers. I, of course, am Latricia Spagna, coming to you with my six-week-old Lhasa Apso puppy babies. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. If you're not new and you're returning, welcome back. These are Juliet's kiddos. This is her latest litter. If you want to continue to watch them grow, because I make videos weekly of them, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button as well as clicking on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, be sure to share if there's anyone else that you think might also enjoy watching the babies grow. So, they are all here. We're outside today. We're hanging out in the backyard. It's a beautiful day. I figured they could come on out and get some fresh air. This is the first time they have been outside, guys. So, they're a little shell-shocked. It's pretty quiet out here, but it's still outside. So, there's lots of sights and sounds and smells, and they have no idea what is going on. But they're just cute as a button. Look, look, look. Oh, my gosh. Look at those faces. All right, so this young man right here, this is Buckwheat, Ugh, right as I introduce him, he turns around. Thanks a lot, Buckwheat. Let's go this way so you can see him better. All right, so this is Buckwheat on the end right there, playing with our green stuffed animal. Buckwheat is light. He's one of the lightest of my brood. That's him right there. His markings are very similar to his brother Spanky. Hey Spanky, there you go. Spanky has the white, bigger white patch on the back of his neck, which is how I tell them apart. So that's Spanky and Buckwheat has flipped over now and now he's on his back playing, having a ball. So that's Buckwheat down there. Say hi Buckwheat. Say hello. This is Spanky, they're both boys. Here we have Stymie. Say hello, Stymie. He's like, leave me alone, I'm playing. This is Stymie, right here, looking everywhere but at the camera, for real. There he goes. This is Stymie. Stymie is more reddish brown than Buckwheat and Spanky. And then the smallest of our males is the deepest red. This young man here is Alfalfa, looking right at the camera. He's pretty photogenic. Unlike his brothers, he's not shy at all. And then our little lady is right here. This is Faith. She is already spoken for, so she is not available. Hey, Faith. This is Faith right here. Look up, precious. There you go, there's Faith. They're just hanging out, playing, romping. Somebody's crying, still a little overwhelmed at being outside. <laughs> Never been out before, guys. This is their maiden voyage going outside. So it's a little bit much for them, but they're getting there. They had their vaccinations yesterday. So they got their five and one shots. They got their deworming shots, not shots. The deworming goes in their mouth, it's oral. So they had their shots, they had their deworming medication. Where are you going, love? You wanna come sniff my toe? Okay. So they'll have another set of vaccinations at eight weeks. For now, they've had their six weeks. I figured I would put them all together so you guys could get a feel for their personality who is adventurous, like this one over here, Buckwheat. He's left the mat, he's hanging out, he's exploring. Some of the others will figure out whether or not they're brave enough to explore too. Some are not trying to explore anywhere, they're just content to be on the mat. But Buckwheat, as you can see, he's way over here now. So it looks like he's the bravest of our group. He's the most adventurous of our kiddos. Let's turn this around. There we go. All right, he's back. He didn't adventure long or far, but he did go. Say 
Hey, is that you making all that noise? You're okay. You're okay, my girl. Yes, that's Faith. She's not sure how she feels about being out here. But the others seem to be doing just fine. Their teeth are starting to come in. No one's teeth have popped through yet. There goes Buckwheat. He's back out again. He's definitely the most adventurous of the five. But pack behavior kicks in. So once one does something, then the others will think about it and eventually do it. So now, Faith has ventured off of the mat. So has Spanky, though they haven't gone far. Alfalfa, our little reddish brown one, he's thinking about it. He's not so sure that he wants to come this far. They find safety in the pack. They find comfort in each other. So usually they'll hang out in a pile, literally a dog pile. <laughs> and they'll all hang out together and they calm each other down. But every now and then, one of them will want to venture off. What is the matter, Faye? She just sad, sad, sad. You're all right, my love. She's crying, but her little tail is wagging, wagging, wagging. How are you going to be sad and happy at the same time? That's confusing, my love. Alfalfa's fine. Look at him. He's like, cool. I'm hanging out. Check me out. I'm outside. Faith is crying. She's busy being sad. Not sure how she feels about it. These three have found a new toy, so they are going to sit here and chew on this. And we're all just going to hang out. It's warm up here today, you guys. It is about 101 in the IE. So... Uh, actually, in the high desert, we're up a little higher than the IE. And they're okay. Even though it's hot out here, we're on the patio. We are under the overhang. So we're not in the sun at all. We're in the shade. There's a little bit of a breeze. And they are fine, except for little mama. What the matter, little mama? What the matter? What the matter? What the matter? What? You don't like that? Leave my sister alone? Leave my sister alone? Don't touch my sister? Oh, my sweetness. What's the matter, huh? What's the matter? Is that better? Is that better? We're not crying now. We're better now? Okay. We're better now. See? She's happy now. She likes being close. She is my snuggle bunny. She prefers to be up under me than anywhere else. The other ones are fine. She's fine too now that she's in my lab. <laughs> this is my little rascal's litter, y'all. If you have a comment, if you want additional information about how to reserve a puppy, all the boys are available. Let's do a roll call one more time. This one is Alfalfa, the reddish. This one is Spanky. This one is Buckwheat. And over here is Stymie. Hi, Stymie. This is my little rascal's little girl. So hit me up in the comment section if you need additional information on how to reserve a puppy. They will be old enough, all of them, to go to their forever home July 6th. So leave me some comments and we will see you next time. Ciao.